have dug through this bag. So. I mean, it's hard to see from the outside, but if we cut this open, um, inside it looks like you would see when you cut down a tree. It might have taken 10, 15 million years to, to actually form. Where these are located on, on the Blake Plateau um, is in a water depth of around 800 meters. And these sit in large fields of almost countless numbers of, of the nodules just sitting in the sediment. Were we surprised that they had done this sort of mining equipment testing activity? Yeah, I mean, I'd know nothing about it and it wasn't something that was, you know, widely known. Once you do something to these environments, how do they recover and can they recover? And like, wow, look at that one. That is just straight. It looks like nothing has happened since it occurred. And it just you know, keeps going out of the mosaic of images. And then coming across another one that's just got giant sediment waves across it now. And going, wow, <laughs> that one has sediment waves. That one's completely changed. Whether it has a major impact is, again, not what we're, we're after. You know, we hope, we aim for it to be useful. Um, but it's also the nature of science. It, just because it comes out and I don't get a whole bunch of phone calls um, down the road, it might become useful.